We had word of a baby springbok that was born. Look at this beautiful female leopard tortoise. Good morning everyone from Shimori TV and Shimori Private Game Reserve. It is a beautiful morning, first day of spring and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Myself and the camera guys have been out earlier this morning already and we had word of a baby springbok or uh, that was born. So we're gonna go and have a look and see what's happening. We had some good, uh, good rains the, a few weeks ago and uh, everything is flourishing at the moment. The reserve is looking beautiful. The season is now for youngsters and babies to be born. And I think let's go and have a look and see if we can find that youngster and uh, see what he's up to. Well, it looks like we found a little one. If you look across the open plain, there's a small group of them. And we're going to try to see if we can't get a little bit closer. Everyone is like sort of hurdling around them or closer to them, investigating. Where's this new little fella that just joined our group here? You can see with a nice greenery that's busy coming out after that good rain we had about two weeks ago. Everything is alive, you know, the amount of insects that's out. We had some migrants of birds that's starting to come back. And uh, best time to be out in the bush at the moment. So let's try see. We've identified the group and it looks like there's a youngster. So I think let's, let's try to get a bit closer to see if that was the one that was spotted earlier this morning. So that was definitely the group that we saw coming closer. And by just observing and what we've seen taking place here, you know, that little one is so well camouflaged and blended in in, in, in his environment. And for and for good reason. You know, he's he can fall prey to various types of predators uh, that we have here on Shamori. You know, from as small as caracals, jackals, all the way up to the lion leopard and cheetahs. And for being a newborn on the reserve, everything is new for him. You know, the, the scents and smells in the air, sudden movements, different noises, uh, different calls from, the, uh, from his siblings, uh, from his mother. And, and it is hard sometimes, you know, you look at a youngster and, uh, and he's literally, he's a, he's a couple of hours old. He can already start drinking and he can move and he can run and it takes him a couple of minutes to strengthen his legs and stand up and mom will clean him as much as he can and you know he's exposed to the environment already and he needs to learn very quickly to follow the rules that mom has pretty much set out for him don't do this don't move here lie down if I if I tell you to and with that relationship between him and his mom you know and, and a natural instinct that that she's got he will mimic her almost and see what she's doing and he will just follow follow through with that groups of uh, springboks can vary you know they either form a nice little nursing group or a breeding group or in some cases some bachelor groups and the numbers can vary anything from a group of seven that we can currently see here to groups of up to 15 20 sometimes even more each little group of each little territorial ram will form his own little group of females and he will he will hang around with them and it's not necessarily that he might be the father he might be uh, for the following season the next dominant male in this little group here it might have been that that youngster was uh, uh, was fathered by by another male well that was a wonderful sighting and a and a true warm welcoming into a, the first day of spring so we're not going to bother them for the rest of the day. We'll leave them and uh, I think let's go and spend some more time out there and just see 
what is what is out there on this beautiful day. Well, that was a beautiful sighting of that newborn springbok calf. And there is another clear sign that spring has arrived and I'm gonna go and try see if I can't find it for you guys. Wish me luck. Oh, look at that. We've got, I've got something very interesting to show you there. Let's go and have a look. beautiful female leopard tortoise we can see here and from the word go everyone is probably wondering why is it saying female and not male and how do you differentiate between the two sexes there's a couple of signs that you can look at males generally have a bit of a, a concave shape where the females have got a flat plastron right underneath the chin towards the neck part of the the lower plastron section will be males will have a little bit of a longer piece sticking out there and they generally use that for fighting and if I just slowly move towards the back males tend to have a little bit of a longer tail than females when they do drink water or get liquid and they store their water there's a little sack at the back called the bursa and what happened with that it's the minute the animal feels distressed or harassed or even a predator because they can fall prey to predators especially the tiny little babies where jackals and hyenas could pick them up and one of the defense mechanisms is, is to to deposit up that liquid out of the borussia and uh, it's the minute a predator picks it up the animal releases that liquid it pretty much urinates into the animals or the predator's mouth the animal drops it it's a uh, the distasteful taste pretty much that's left in the animal's mouth one of her defense mechanisms beautiful patterns on a on a shell itself though and hence the name leopard tortoise is because of the the leopard like printing one of the biggest of the small five in south africa you can see she's looking out and probably observing it must be very hard to be in this low down to the ground and looking for some potential food in this area you can see how she's it's quite strong you know and how she's pushing herself up and you know there's a good old saying that tortoises can move slow which they they do but if she's got a mindset to something she can move relatively quickly being this strong as she is you know she can dig straight deep into a bush it's quite interesting you know you're looking at the hard surface sometimes and you think how is it possible for it to even dig to lay her eggs and you look very careful long sharp claws long nails which he uses for digging and it has been known that they can soften the soil or that liquid that we we're talking about earlier but come that water coming out of the bursa to soften the surface and then she will start digging with the hind legs and obviously lay her eggs and then cover it up again and then move off beautiful seeing this animal out and about we've left the car it's just nice being on foot and we will leave it to it thank you for watching and remember like, hit the subscribe button and follow us on Shomori TV.